and according to our society, the majority rules. Now, it doesn't mean that you have tyranny of the majority, but it means that we have a society of laws and, and the majority rules. Okay, so you think it's okay for the majority to prohibit certain actions that don't harm anybody else, but they think should not be performed. Is that correct? I think that if uh, that we have a system of, of laws in this country and a system of government in this country, and I think that if the elected legislators pass a law, that that is the law. I may philosophically disagree with the law, and I'm not only talking about crime issues here, I'm talking about any issues, but that is the system that we have. I don't believe in anarchy. I don't believe that we have the right willy-nilly to take the law into our own hands. And but do what we're talking we about is, is what should be done. We, we have a, a society, and I think that whether or not we like what gets done, we have to adhere to the laws of society, unless there are extremely extenuating circumstances. And I pointed out before that the civil rights movement, I think, was one such circumstance where there were laws passed that clearly discriminated against African Americans and discriminated against people, and so civil disobedience was rightfully used to try to change those laws. So we don't have to accept something simply because the majority says it's right. That doesn't make it right. Correct? There are instances where I think that your statement is correct, but I don't think that that's the instance in every single case, and I think if we all decided that we were going to just break those laws to which we didn't disagree, we would have anarchy in this country, and I don't think that's what we want. I certainly don't want it. Well, what we're trying to ident use or identify is a principle that would illustrate for the lawmaker and the people evaluating the law what actions should be considered a crime from, and differentiate those from, those from actions that should not. That's what, that's what I was trying to get at, and I thought at one point you had offered a principle, things only things that harm other individuals. No. But then you said, I, I recall, then you said that you, you didn't want to be consistent on that principle. You had certain exceptions to that principle. No, 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 no. I, I, I said that, first of all, I said, when you're legislating, nothing is hard and fast. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, certainly, we know that when somebody commits a violent crime or violence on another person, no one will disagree that that's a crime, OK? When we're not talking about violence on another person, then different people will have different attitudes or opinions on what should be a crime. I take the position that if there are laws on the books, then, and you violate those laws, and it can be proven in a court of law legally and correctly that you have violated those laws, then you have legally committed a crime. Yeah, but now that's whether, not the question. The question is, should that be a crime simply because it's on the books? That's the question. Well, if you're asking me if, if somebody uh, ought to be allowed to shoot themselves up with heroin because the only person they're hurting is themselves, right. um, I would say no. I, I don't think that in, in our society we ought to um, say that's okay and encourage the, 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 uh, the use of drugs. And I was trying to differentiate uh, from what I thought was one drug, like marijuana, because frankly I see no, no point in ruining people's lives uh, because they have, they're smoking uh, marijuana and you're going to indict them and send them to prison and whatever. I don't see any purpose to that. Well, but I do think when we're talking about heroin and some other drugs where we know that when someone is hooked on them and they're going to need more and more and chances are that they're going to, to need to find a lot of money to, to get their drugs and the only way they can do that is by hitting someone over the head, uh, then I think that we balance that and we say that chances are if someone is a, is a drug addict of that magnitude, then they are going to create, uh, to cause violence to somebody else. And I think that we can see the cause and effect and therefore it causes me to say that no, uh, heroin uh, should not be legalized. Even those heroin addicts that don't mug other people should be prohibited from using the heroin. Well, I don't know who's going to mug other people and who doesn't. I think that we right. know that 80% that, uh, of the people committing violent crimes in New York State are drug addicts. And most of them will admit that they committed the crimes to feed their habits. So that's, okay, well, that's a pretty good percentage for me. Uh, I don't want to encourage it, and I don't think we should encourage it. Let me ask you this. Should the government force citizens that have not violated anybody's rights to act against their judgment? 
So if they think that a certain lifestyle is good for them, be they right or wrong, should the government force them not to do that and make it illegal if they so choose to act in a way that the government prohibits? You're asking a very vague question, and it could, it could be, it could, you know, there could be a thousand different cases. I would say it depends on what you're specifically talking about. In some cases, I think no, and in some cases, I think yes. This is why I'm saying to you, when you say oh, there are a broad set of principles, um, you need to take these things on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, for instance, if somebody wants to live uh, a certain way um, and they are, uh, uh, I don't know, want to live in an unconventional lifestyle um, and they're harming nobody but themselves, I, again, we're not talking about drugs here, I think they, we, they ought to be allowed to live as they see fit. I don't want to tell anybody how to live. Uh, on the but there's a lot of people that will be saying that they're harming themselves, just as you were arguing before, that if the person taking drugs is harming himself, then it should be also illegal. No. Or you also argued that he's going to harm other people, yeah. but he may not. But shouldn't uh, you prohibit the action that actually harms the other people? Listen, and I, not interfere with his judgment on to how to live his life? I think drugs is a whole separate issue because frankly I think that, that, that drugs is something that this society is going to have to come to grips with and very very soon I think it is, it is rapidly becoming uh, internally along with crime because I think they go hand in hand uh, the number one concern of our society and I think if we don't get a grip and a handle on the drug problem um, we are going to be we are going to rot from within I think that is, is clearly uh, uh, the problem in terms of violent crime in our society. So I think drugs is a whole, a whole separate issue. Uh, if you want to give me specifics, I'd be happy to tell you okay. my well, opinion. Well, let, let's see if we can reach some agreement here. Uh, you would agree that intentional violations of other people's rights should be considered a crime? Yes, of course. Okay. But you think that other things that are also, that are not intentional violations of other people's life, liberty, or property should also be considered a crime no, you, sometimes. You have to give me specifics. I can't give you a blank. Well, on, yes on the case no of the that. drugs, you think that even though it's not a violation of somebody else's rights, it should be considered a crime. I, I'm not for legalization of drugs. Okay. No. Suppose it were uh, sodomy between consenting adults. If, uh, say the majority thinks that that's not a good lifestyle, they shouldn't do that. Would you? say that they have a right to live that kind of life if they so choose? I think that what people do in the privacy of their own bedroom is their business and nobody else's. Okay, so in that are, case you're willing to respect their judgment as, as to what's in their own self-interest, right? As long as it, as it doesn't harm anybody, as long as nobody is being forced against their will to do anything, uh, I think consenting adults, consenting adults right. should have the right in terms of uh, their sexual preferences to, um, to do what they want. Well, why don't you use that rationale when it comes to the drugs? Same rationale. No, because I've already explained. I think okay. that, that drugs clearly leads to an increase in violent crime. Sometimes, not always, right? I think enough times to make it a, a threat to society. Okay, well, let's take a commercial break now, and we'll come right back after this break and discuss your view of what the fundamental cause of crime is and your proposed solutions.